72% of you guys watching my videos right now are actually not even subscribed. So why not subscribe? It's free and it helps the channel out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This isn't the menu you're used to seeing over here on the channel. I've decided to make the decision I'm going to become a better Warzone player because I really do enjoy playing Warzone and a lot of you have asked me to play it on my Instagram and sometimes people have even commented it in the comment section. So I'm here today, we're going to give it a try, we're going to do one take, just one spin, see how we do in Warzone. Hopefully we can get a decent amount of kills and admittedly I'm not the best Warzone player there is out there. I'm going to try my best to keep uploading Warzone and keep playing and become a better Warzone player over time gradually hopefully i've already got a win up on the channel if you want to check that out make sure you do uh, and a challenge video this is literally just going to be me going for a win see how we do hopefully we can make a win or at least come close so i hope you guys do enjoy this video but before we do hop into the gameplay make sure you guys are smashing a like on this video if you do enjoy it and make sure you are hitting that subscribe button if you guys are new around here but anyway guys i'll catch you guys in the gameplay okay guys here we are i'm getting a little bit used to wasn't a little bit i played a, a game just before this and pretty much died straight off the rip but we'll ignore that fact uh, i always never know where to land i do like landing at quarry and where this plane is going to fly i'm going to i'm going to land at quarry to be, to be honest i'm not sure if that's the best place to land i've so i pretty much i'm a warzone noob i've never really played it i've played squads a couple of times and i played mainly solos and i've not really even watched much warzone gameplay to be honest either so knowing what to do and stuff is pretty much a blur i know hospital is a decent place to land and in tomorrow's video i will land at hospital um so hopefully i can get a few more kills under the belt but i mean it doesn't mean i'm not going to get many kills here at quarry we'll see i'm gonna go straight for the roof of this big building because i know there's some decent loot in there okay dropping down the 10 4 a1 there's somebody landing i've just seen the parachute landing at the front of this house should have a quick scan around, see if I can get any kill, quick kills early. That would be great. I've also seen a video as well which I want to try out is not jumping out of the plane because obviously you get a few AFK players uh, in these lobbies because of they're so big and all the AFK players land right where the plane obviously kicks them out and you can get like three or four easy kills straight off the bat. I've not tried it yet. Uh, but I saw a kid if he can get like seven kills within like 30 seconds just because they're doing that off the start. And I'm gonna take this, uh, I think it's the kilo this, yeah. I'll take the kilo for a little bit of long range because it seems pretty uh, hefty. And there's an armor satchel there as well. I'm gonna pick that up, not the famas, please. Have my M4A1 back, please. Right, let's see what's popping in this building. I hate this, you can never get down this ladder properly. I don't understand why. I'm trying to see if I can hear anyone right now. Sound is key when this when it comes to Warzone. But if I mean if there's anybody's got any tips and stuff like that on where to land and what obviously I know the guns are what guns are good and everything like that. I'm not completely clueless. But um I can hear someone. I can actually hear someone beneath me. I'm gonna see what's going off. Where are you? Oh, hello. I don't know what that kid was doing, but that was a nice little easy kill. Don't think there's anybody else knocking around. But that's what I mean I like about this series because a lot of you play Warzone more than me. You might be able to give me some tips and tricks on where to land and what's good, the best place to land and stuff like that. Pretty much the only thing I don't really know is the best place to land. Give me my heartbeat sense back please. I don't want to swap that. But they've actually changed the button layout because I remember for a while, which I thought was really, really strange, uh, using your equipment and fl so let's say I've got a frag and a flash for instance, you would use R1 for both of them or RB if you're on Xbox. I don't know what it is on PC. Um, You'd use R1 for both of them whilst pressing the up arrow to switch between them. I thought it was super, super strange. And on the map, using I think it was triangle and oh my god, I want my heartbeat sensor. I keep thinking that's not going to swap it out. And you'd use circle and triangle. I think it was to zoom in and out on the map. And I thought that was just completely stupid, like the worst button layout possible. Right, I think I can hear somebody down here. To be honest, could be mistaken. I'm just tripping. I can hear somebody near me. Heartbeat sensor is not picking him up though, so we're chilling. I think heartbeat sensor is definitely key as well on this, to be honest. I think if you've got heartbeat sensor, you're definitely at a very strong advantage. And there's a crossbow there. I'm definitely not going to take that, I don't think. No, I can't imagine the crossbow being very great. I mean, it might be a one hit, but hitting that shot is where it's going to be uh, key. And the reload time on the crossbow is super slow. Literally, I think all I'm going to be doing in this game is abusing the uh, heartbeat sensor. But I'm actually going to go and try and get a weapon load out. The load out I've got is a Growl and an AX50 with a thermal, but I'm thinking of switching the sniper off the class up to be honest because I don't really use it that much. Okay, I've got the weapon load out. I'm not, I'm playing the uh, solo version where you can respawn if you've got over 4,500 and I don't even have that right now. But I don't even have, oh my days, that's, that's a nice strike. I'm literally, when I'm playing Warzone, I'm just on edge constantly. Let's just drop this in anyway. I don't think there's anybody around. We'll see. 
Right, let's get the class set up on. Let's go. Oh my days, someone here. Oh my days. Goodbye, my friend. That's what I mean. I think in gunfights, when I'm confident, I'm going to come out on top. Because in multiplayer, I'd say, not do, blow my own trumpet. But I'd probably say like eight, eight times out of ten, I'd probably come out on top on a gunfight, majority of the time. And in Warzone, I'm sort of really hesitant. I want to buy a uh, self-revive. Because you never know. And we'll buy some armor plates as well. Because, oh, there's someone. That's what I mean. That enemy soldier incoming lets you know when somebody's going to come. So, always listen out for that as well. If you didn't know. Where's this guy? To my right a little bit. There's two people on it, to be fair. But other guy's far. Where is this kid? I have no idea. I can hear him. Is he above? Sounds like he's above. Can't hear him anymore, so he may or may not know I'm here. I have no idea where this kid is. He's, be he's behind me, I'm sure. I think he's down below. I heard him then. He's there. He's there. On my days. Oh, I've got the C4's awful. It's on the roof. Is he chasing? He's chasing. Oh, my days. Yes. That C4 really panicked me then because I thought I'd absolutely blown it. But for whatever reason, he ran up the way I ran away from and managed to get him in the back with that C4. So we'll take that. Nice little easy kill. Oh, there's someone else knocking around as well. Where is this kid? Is he going to come down? I'm not sure. Oh, he's gone. He's disappeared. He's gone behind me. Right. He's above me, definitely. 100%. So I might need to go and check that out. But back to what I was saying about my gunfights. I think if I'm confident in gunfights in Warzone, I'm definitely uh, going to become a better player. Just because I don't know why, but I just feel super unconfident in gunfights. I think it's the fact that there's no respawns and there's a constant pressure of like one life only and you've got to survive against all these other people. That might be a reason why, but I'm going to play a little bit of a, I might even play a bit of plunder just to get used to the used to the actual game. Because I've literally played literally no Warzone since it came out. Pretty much new to it. Pretty, all I've played is multiplayer, literally, as I'm sure all of you know. There's a guy over here on the hobby sensor. He's just disappeared, and I don't know where he is. I can hear somebody lying on the roof above me. Yeah, yeah. That's from the enemy soldier incoming when he said that. It's gonna, yeah, there we go, there he is. And the reason number there we go, nice easy kill there, that kid's got to be mad, literally come off the respawn. But when it says enemy soldiers incoming, it's literally so overpowered, like you can literally abuse it. So as soon as you hear that, when it said that, they're literally above your head. And I can hear somebody else dropping in as well. I hear a parachute at least. We're literally abusing the heartbeat sensor right now. Yeah, there's somebody around me somewhere. I heard the little bleep. This really is a new way to play right now. But the circle is... I'm right back in the middle of the new circle. So I don't really see a reason to move from here right now. I'm, trying. I'm going to try and kill a couple of the windows. Obviously, I don't want to just sit and camp in a corner. But I feel like when the circle closes into the final circle, this is going to be a super advantageous point to be at. So I don't really want to move out of here just to come back up. Depending on where the circle is anyway. I've got a feeling it might be around here, but... You never know. So whilst I'm in the circle still, this is a decent spot to be in. So I'm just going to stay right here. I mean, look, there we go. You just saw me there. I'm right in the middle of the circle. There's some guy coming real close right now. I can hear him coming up. He's going to die really mad. He's going to be so mad because I'm sat here. Here he comes. And he's going to run straight past me and he's going to die. Oh my God, I would be so mad dying like that. In fact, I've died like that before and it's the most frustrating thing in the world. Literally straight after that kid, there's someone dropped on the roof. Where is this guy? I can hear him running around on the roof. I just come up the stairs. He's here. And he's gonna die. Very easy kill again. I'll be so mad again. <laughs> wow, we're getting some really, uh, I don't know, cheap kills if you will. Which isn't great. Definitely not good for what I was saying earlier. I'm improving my confidence because I'm just getting easy kills. But I'm just trying to play for a win right now to be honest. There's not many people left and we're banging in the middle of the circle still. I think we may have another victim that's just dropped in. He's landed on the roof of this building. And we have another victim taken to the heartbeat sensor in the corner. I will be that's three people. We have extremely, extremely pissed off right now. Storm is closing in right now. We're gonna have to move. We're just outside of the circle, which is unfortunate. So the heartbeat sensor OP strat is not gonna work out right now. We're gonna have to take it in our stride. We're gonna have to move out. There's some guys over there on the radar if you can see them. I'm gonna move over there to be honest. Don't see anybody else around. Nobody behind me. I'm telling you, I see him up on the cliff over there. Right, very, very far over there to my left. Nobody looks down low, because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna get to the roof and I'm gonna parachute over to the left where them little buildings are. That's the plan. Right, we're gonna have to make a jump for it. Let's go boys, we're going over. This caravan or whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Some guy's rolling in a truck. Doesn't seem like there's anybody in here. Let's go. Hello, motherfucker. Oh my days, no, no! No way. 
This kid was camping as well, he didn't come up on the heartbeat sensor. Okay guys, we're back in the lobby. Karma got the best of me there, I was camping all game and killing people in corners. What happens to me in the last one of the final circles? I get killed by someone camping in a corner in a little building. That is Karma for you. Next game, we're not going to camp, we're going to go hunting for kills, improve on the gunfight skills in uh, Warzone. Hopefully we can build a bit more confidence, keep practicing, hopefully we can get a lot of, lot of wins. Let's hope anyway. If you guys did enjoy this video, if you want to see more Warzone content, then smash a like on this video, it does mean a lot to me. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video, it's a little bit different to what I usually do. Thank you so much for watching, if you guys are new around here, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.